Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm with Whitney, and she came to join me to do my leg workout for the Get Shredded for Summer 2017 workout series. Now, I've been away for a while because I've had exams and all of that, but I finally finished now and it's time to get back to the video. So just bear with me guys, but I'll get them up and running straight away. Um, I'm gonna put the workout out now. So just remember to take your stopwatch with you or timer with you or your phone with you just to time your breaks and make sure you're strict with them. Make sure you get it done properly in it. Let's get it. Blow. The first exercise is the barbell squat, but before we start the weighted barbell squat, we would first do a warm up set, which is 15 reps, and then we will move on to the weighted barbell squat, which is 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps. In terms of the form for the barbell squat, it's relatively straightforward. Once you've unracked the weight and you're ready to go, you place your feet shoulder width apart and then you descend down and ascend back up as I'm doing in the video now. Some key points to keep in mind when you're doing this exercise is to make sure your arch is your back is arched <laughs> and your chest is up just to make sure that you don't injure yourself or anything bad happens like you dropping the weight. <laughs> Yeah. For maximum muscle activation, you, you just need to make sure that one, when you're squatting, you squat all the way down as low as you can, and when you come back up, you tense your bum as hard as you can for a second or two, and then you go down again as low as possible, and then you tense your bum as much as you can. This makes sure that it works your legs and your bum as you're doing the squat. Moving on to the next exercise, the front barbell squats. Now this exercise is very good for working your quads and it was actually very challenging for me to learn to do at first but after I got a hold of it, I think I was set to go. In terms of form for this exercise, you would hold the bar across your shoulders going into your neck um, with your elbows pointing as high as possible and you will squat down slowly as we did before, taking your going as low as possible and then coming back up again, keeping your back arched and your chest part pushed out. All these things are key to doing the exercise properly and making sure you get the best out of the exercise. Moving on to our third exercise, the stiff legged deadlift. Now this exercise is going to work your hamstrings very well and you will make sure that you do 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps again. In terms of the form for this exercise, it's relatively straightforward. You begin off by placing your feet shoulder width, width apart and once you've picked up the barbell, you would basically descend, rolling the barbell just across the front of your leg. So that would be across your quads and then your shin. And then once you've gotten low enough that you feel a pinch in your hamstring, you roll the barbell back up again and then you descend and you roll it back up just as we're doing in the video and that will make sure you get the best out of the exercise. Moving on to our fourth exercise, the seated leg curl. Now for this exercise, you we would do again, three sets of 10 to 12 reps and these sets and reps are all aimed to make sure that it's high volume and also you're working your muscles very well. In terms of the form for the seated leg curl, you just need to make sure once you sat down, your knees are parallel to the little um, pivot point that is 
going up and down and this will make sure that when, when you're doing the exercise it's relatively straightforward and once you're ready you literally just grab onto the sides and you lift your leg up as high as possible and you bring it back down not much harder than that moving on to the prone leg curl for our fifth exercise now so for this exercise you need to make sure that you do three sets of 10 to 12 reps same as we've been doing for all of the other exercises and in terms of the form for this exercise is similar to the seated leg curl if you find the pivot point you just need to make sure that your knees are parallel to that and once you're ready you literally just place your legs behind the machine and lift up and down as you would moving on to our next exercise the seated leg press now for this exercise again we need, we need to make sure that we do three sets of 10 to 12 reps Once, once you've sat down, the form for this exercise is basically quite straightforward. You would place your feet on the platform and push and release as Whitney is doing in the video now. There's some key points to keep in mind when you're doing this exercise is make sure that your back is in the seat and not moving and also not to push out so much that your knees lock because that could be dangerous. Moving on to our next exercise, the Bulgarian split squat. Now this exercise is a very special exercise and I'll explain to you guys why but we need to remember for this exercise also just make sure that you do 10 to 12 reps of 3 sets as we've been doing for the other exercises. And in terms of the form for this exercise, I think that's what makes it a bit different from the lunges because you have to go as forward as much as possible and once you're there, you will squat down low keeping your leg that is in front at a 90 degree angle when you go down before you come back up and then replicate this over and over again. Keeping your balance is also quite difficult so you just need to make sure you can pattern that before you get started. Moving on to calves now, this is the Smith Machine calf raises and as we've been doing um, for this exercise it would be 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps as always. Now the form for this exercise is relatively straightforward. Once you've got the platform there and you've got the, the, Smith, the bar on the Smith Machine on your shoulder, you literally just let your heel go low as possible and then you raise it as high as possible and as low as possible then as high as possible it's nothing harder than that moving on to our last exercise the seated calf raises um the amount of sets you need to complete for this exercise is also three sets of 10 to 12 reps and as you're doing this you literally just place your feet in the position that we're doing on the video and you, you raise them as high as possible and then you bring them down and raise them as high as possible if your gym doesn't have this machine you might need to use um, a different sort of calf press exercise and literally just do the same amount of sets and reps for him nothing too difficult with it Just finished now. <laughs> she is tired. How was it? Yeah, he tried to kill me. <laughs> but it was a good workout, I can't lie, it was a good workout. I felt all of my legs like I can yeah. feel my legs growing right now. Literally, what well, for the girls and the boys, you need to remember that. I might make one 
especially just for bum for the girls. Maybe in the future, I'll see. I know, she, <laughs> I know, I know the, the, um, the, um, the ladies will like that definitely. So keep up for that. Um, yeah, that's everything now. Just make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. And you catch me here next week. Blow.